This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, September 23rd. I'm James Spann. Got some rain on the way. Maybe a strong storm late tomorrow. Let's get in there and check things out with the SkyCam network this afternoon. These were taken about 2.30. That's the uh, trustful SkyCam. It's northeast of Birmingham. The sky there bright and sunny. There's the Chiha Sky Cam from East Alabama, south of Anniston. A partly sunny afternoon and down south. Even at uh, the Dolphin Island Sea Lab, they're seeing some sunshine, although there are a few scattered rain showers around as well. That's a pretty impressive upper trough coming at us out across the Plain stage. You know, if this were maybe uh, March or April, and we had a loaded air mass, you might think that might produce some severe weather. But there could be a strong storm involved. On the uh, watch warning map around the nation, pretty quiet today. A few pockets of freeze warnings as cold air uh, continues over parts of the northeast and the northwest. In fact, uh, some of the mountains out there in uh, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana should get a good snow over the next few days. Severe weather not expected for the rest of today and tonight. Despite that strong trough, there's just no uh, really quality air, no unstable air out there across the Great Plains. But tomorrow, we note the guys at SPC have the low 5% possibilities of severe weather over much of Mississippi. Uh, parts of West Alabama up into southwestern Tennessee. And uh, the dynamic forcing is very good. The instability, the moisture is kind of lacking. So the chance of severe weather is not zero tomorrow, but uh, we'll watch things unfold tomorrow afternoon. QPF chart uh, valid through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock, showing rain amounts of about one half to one inch around here. And that sounds about right. Of course, the bulk of that will come tomorrow tomorrow night into early Wednesday. And the tropics, very, very quiet for the 23rd of September. We'll check modeling. This is the GFS, the global forecast system, the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And this is at 500 millibars. You see a really nice negative tilt trough coming in here. And again, if we had a really unstable air mass, you know, dew points up around 70 that could be a severe weather look. The wind fields are pretty impressive, but the uh, you know instability and the moisture is kind of lacking. Uh, this is at 1 o'clock, and the GFS has the bulk of the showers and storms still west of the state. But let's go to the high-res NAM that uh, can do pretty effectively in jobs in situations like this. This is valid tomorrow at 4 o'clock local time. Uh, pretty good, healthy batch of storms moving into uh, Alabama, especially west-central Alabama. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Big old batch of storms passing through central Alabama. Uh, some of the heaviest rain, if this is right. And, you know, we know the radar won't exactly look like this, but it's kind of suggesting maybe south of I-20. But clearly everybody will have a good chance of rain and storms tomorrow night. And then by Wednesday at 1 o'clock, everything is long gone. So I would say the main window for showers and storms about 10 a.m. tomorrow until 10 a.m. Wednesday. That's a 24-hour period. Again, rain amounts of one-half to one inch, maybe some strong storms. Severe weather, the chance of severe weather is not zero, but it's not a major risk. And the sun might begin to peak out Wednesday afternoon. This is Thursday. I'd say the sky will be sunny. Maybe a little lingering moisture, but again... Uh, no weather issues, I think. Highs low to mid-80s. We note that tropical system well east of Florida. Friday, we're dry with a sunny sky. The high between 80 and 84. And Saturday, as we start the weekend, there's an upper high over Louisiana. And down below that, the air stays dry, so Saturday should be a sunny day. I'd say low to mid-80s. Pretty good day for football or anything else. Uh, no rain for college games on Saturday or the high school games Friday night. This is Sunday. Got a cold front approaching from the northwest, but uh, uh, still, the, if this is right, the day Sunday would be dry. Uh, if any showers creep in here, it would be late Sunday night, and more than likely they'll be kind of decaying at that point. And then Monday, the front passes through without much fanfare. Just a few, a few showers around Monday, rain not that heavy, no severe weather. And following that, we'll cool down a little bit by the middle of next week. So uh, we'll have chances for showers and storms tomorrow, tomorrow night, maybe Wednesday, then another chance around Monday of next week. And that looks pretty iffy based on that. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is October 9th. A very, very deep trough over the east. Big ridge over the west. And look at the cold air down into the Great Lakes. 
Uh, got a cold front coming in here, and that would push some pretty cool air down the pike if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.